Sentinel supports the Barn Owl Directional Noise Monitoring Equipment, allowing you to use your existing Barn Owl Directional Noise Monitor or add a new one to your site solution. The system will let you determine from what direction noise comes from and can also define an angle of interest, allowing you to monitor noise in a particular direction and safely ignore incidental noise that was not caused by your operation or site. Barn Owl units operate as standalone units but can be part of a larger system with standard monitors at other sites. You can see how Barn Owl is represented in the real-time control app. In this example, it is represented by the yellow arc pointing in a specific direction. Alerts that have been set up for noise exceedances will also appear here, allowing you to respond quickly. By now we'll be represented in a similar fashion on the stakeholder web page. You can choose whether or not to display this information to the public in settings in the client. And historical data showing noise inside and outside the angle of interest can be viewed by clicking on the selected checkbox. Since the information panel can be customized, you can also put in an explanation of the Binow solution for the public to understand. On the Sentinel overview, the unit is viewed in the same way as a standard NMT. The only difference is the enhanced directional functionality. The data is displayed on the overview panel. You can see historical and real-time directional noise monitoring. And select the monitor for further information. And taking a look at the graph, the information differs from a standard noise monitor. We can see the total LEQ as the red line, and this is the equivalent of a standard microphone measuring the total noise. The brown line is dB level from all sources, and the yellow line is the angle of interest dB, the noise from only the defined monitoring arc or the angle of interest. Data from the Barnow monitor can be used as part of a report output. When constructing the export on page 2, be sure to select the directional noise option to include the data. On the setup page, you can see the details for the unit itself by clicking on that unit. And also here is where you can set up alerts for the Barn Owl Monitor. There are a few important settings to keep in mind when setting up alerts. In the directional rule alert parameters, choose whether the alert will trigger when noise is exceeded in any direction or only from sources in the angle of interest. On the next page, choose the actual angle of interest. This should obviously be in the direction of the noise source you wish to monitor with Barn Owl. And it's on the page after this that you can then set the decibel levels for warning and exceedance alerts. Once you finish this setup, the alert will become active, ready to trigger if Barn Owl detects high levels of noise as per your setup. So here's an example of how the warnings and exceedance levels are displayed in the real-time control app. Here we're looking at a warning where it has not reached the exceedance level. And the audio is also collected for this period as set in the alarm setup options for playback if you wish. Clicking on the details icon will give you a detailed breakdown of the specifics of the alert and the noise levels during the time of the alert. So this concludes the overview of how Barn Owl works with your Sentinel system.